girls and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here in today's video we're going to learn how to make this spiral flay or a flounce using an ankara fabric this one that i made is not too full because i was trying to manage my fabric if you have an ankara fabric you should use at least five fairs to achieve the longer and a fuller one this one is full actually but it is not too long i used two yards of doll face and two yards of ankara fabric to achieve this so right here we'll move to our cutting table here i have my ankara my doll face my crinoline and i have my straight cut skirt i'm making a gown actually this is just the down part of the gown I have my doll face, my crinoline. This crinoline is the soft one. I have to, I will have to double it. It is light. If you are making this, you should use a strong crinoline so that it can stand after gathering your flay uh, or after pleating it. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. We have our straight cut skirt. First of all, I will fold my doll face. This doll face I'm holding right now is just one yard. I tried making this using a normal spiral flounce, but it wasn't working out because the length of the flay is long. It is more than 10 inches. So I had to cut the normal flay. I am folding my fabric and I am done folding my fabric right now. So I will use 4 inches for my radius. You can use five or six. I'll use for four inches for my radius, and after that, I will make make the length of this flay ten inches. I want to use a circular flay to achieve this. I'll cut like three circular flay. I use three circles to achieve that flounce on my skirt. So I use four inches for my radius, and I use ten inches as the length of the flay. Right now, I am cutting out the flay, and after cutting this out on the doll face i'll also cut it out on my ankara i told you guys that i want to turn my ankara with a doll face but if you have enough ankara fabric you can use your ankara for everything so here is the ankara part and i want to turn i want to cut out the ankara part i will cut three for the ankara and three for the doll face so right now i'll go ahead and cut I am done cutting that and I want to cut out one more doll face. I want to cut out one more circle on my doll face. The first one that I cut was two, is two. I want to cut out one more on my doll face. And after cutting this out, I'll also cut two or one more on my Ankara. So after cutting this out this is what i have i have number one i will merge it with the doll face i have my number one i'll merge it with my doll face i have my number two i'll also merge it with the ankara i also have my number three I'll merge it with the Ankara. I'll go ahead and cut out this Ankara. If you are trying to use, cut this using a flounce, it may disturb you. Number no, one reason is the Ankara fabric is not too long. The length is 45. So cutting out a flounce using an Ankara, a long flounce using an Ankara will be hard. Any flounce that is more than 9 inches or 8 inches will be hard for you to achieve on and ankara so after that i will go ahead and run my crinoline line around all of them like i said i doubled my crinoline. line after that i will open all of them you can see how i'm opening them this is number one i will open number two i'll open number two and I'll also open number three. So after opening all of them, I will join. Like I will join the three of them in order to achieve a longer flay. I don't know if you understand what I'm doing right here. Instead of cutting a flounce, 
because my flounce will still have cuts and joint, like many cuts and joints. So in order to avoid that, I had to cut three flits. So if you are making your own, if you want to have a very full gathers like the one on our thumbnail, you will have to cut out six. I am using two. So I'll go ahead and join number one and number two. The Ankara will be the uh, against the Ankara, the door face against the door face. I am done closing that area. You can see what I have. You will not really notice that I joined it. So after joining this one, I'll also go ahead and join the last one. I'm trying to turn it out so that I can see what I have. Our circle flay is becoming longer. Right now, I will open the number three and I will go ahead and join my number three to them. The Ankara will be against the Ankara and the door face will be against the door face. So I'll go ahead and close. And after closing, I'll also close the edge, like the open part of all of them. I'll go ahead and close them. Then after closing, I'll start ironing. The ironing of this flay will be hard. It will be hard somehow. It will be really difficult because ironing a crinoline can be hard. I will not advise you to top stitch on any part because the top stitch will be showing. So just use your ironing to iron everything. Use your iron to iron everything down. Do not top stitch. So right now I will start ironing. now i am done with the ironing and i will open it up so that you guys can see what i have so this is what i have i will go ahead and close the open part i'll go ahead and close after closing you can overlock it or weave it you can weave that rough part i'll go ahead and run my stitch i am done closing that side and i'm trimming off the unequal part you can overlock overlocking is better or weaving we call it weaving too you can weave it so that when you are gathering you have a very neat finishing after doing that, this is my straight cut. I'll go ahead and open the zipper allowance area. Then after opening the zipper allowance, you will choose the side you want to fix these gathers on or you want to fix this flay on. You choose the side. If you want it to be on the right, you can do that. If you want it to be on the left, you can as well do that. So I'm trying to mark out how I will fix it. It will have this zigzag line or zigzag shape so if you are fixing remember to gather them like i'll go ahead and pin everything down i'll pin it the way i want it to be then remember to gather like you have to gather it i tried it out the first time it wasn't looking full i had to regather it again i had to gather again so that it will give me that fuller look so if you want it to be exactly like the one you saw on our thumbnail you use six circles you use six flay with the same measurements you can make your flay shorter if you want to have yours as a short flounce you can make it longer like mine is 10 inches plus seam allowance you have after taking out your seam allowance you have nine inches so you can see the way i'm pinning this down i'm pinning it down in a zigzag form and you'll be leaving spaces you'll be leaving extra fabric for the gathers remember you gather this you can see the way i'm pinning mine down
So I am approaching the down part. So after pinning, this is what I have. You go ahead and attach this using your sewing machine. You can use a needle and thread, but a sewing machine is better. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope it is beautiful. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and for watching. Our registration for the physical, our physical classes, we end on the 12th of February. We have a fashion school in Enugu. Registration will end on the 12th of February. So all you have to do is to send a DM to at so with Ijoma on Instagram or on Facebook. Thank you all so much and see you all in my next video. Please do not forget to subscribe. Bye.